Tommy Ford just dropped some big ass breaking news. Big ass breaking news. <laughs> yep, they dropped it. <laughs> they dropped it on us at midnight, so we're here doing this video, and I'm a little bit grumpy because of that. But the news is nevertheless pretty incredible because, well, there's a new Mustang that's coming, and that new Mustang is iconic. And what is that vehicle? It's the Mach 1. And the question I have for you is it an electric crossover? It is not an electric crossover. <laughs> it is a fastback sports car the way it should be. But before we give you all the details and show you, well, the three pictures, uh, let's look at the original commercial for the Mach 1 when it first debuted in the late 60s. Mustang. Mach 1. One special sports performance, sports roof Mustang. Mach One, something scorching to keep Mustang the original and the front runner, thundering along far ahead of the pack. Well, that was some pretty goofy music, I have to admit, but that is one of the most iconic Mustangs ever made. And this car debuted in late 1968 for the 1969 model year and became an instant hit. It had a variety of V8 engines ranging all the way up to the huge 428. And then it went on to become a performance icon. Well, there were a couple of years that weren't so good. Yeah, there was that Mustang II. The hatchback. Yeah, that wasn't grand. <laughs> And the last one was, of course, the 2003-2004 uh, yeah. Mach 1. But Ford will tell you, Tommy, that the Mustang Mach 1 is the bridge between the regular Mustang, at least in performance, and the Shelby Mustangs. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's talk about where the new Mach 1 fits into the Mustang hierarchy. So at the base, at the beginning, is the four-cylinder turbo that you can get currently. Yeah, so that's the EcoBoost. Starts at about $26,000. And there's a couple different trims of that model. Yep, and then you jump up to the one that everybody wants, which is the uh, five liter Coyote GT. And that one puts out 460 horsepower and 420 pound foot of torque. It's the one that you know is ubiquitous with what a Mustang is. Exactly, once again, a couple of different trims. And then above that is a slightly faster model, the Bullet, the famous Steve McQueen car, right? Yeah, well, it's not. Well, it's, mm -hmm, the, right. it's the modern interpretation, 480 horsepower. And that's kind of the top dog in the standard Mustangs, but there's a whole nother level above that. Yeah, and then you get into, of course, the Shelby Mustang. So mm -hmm. there's a Shelby 350. And this year Ford rolled out, of course, the um, top dog Mustang. Yeah, the GT500. The GT500, which we had a chance to drive in Vegas not that long ago. And that puts out, if I recall right, 760 horsepower. Right, so there's a pretty big gap in the, uh, the, the Mustang horsepower lineup. And if this new Mustang is similar to the old Mach 1s, you're gonna see a nice perfect fit between the Bullet and the GT350. All right, so let's do some speculation because Ford unfortunately didn't tell us a lot about it. Oh, why? We've got three pictures and that's pretty much it. Yeah, so we know it's of course the iconic Fastback, which is what the Mach 1 has always been associated with. And they said it's gonna be the top dog, highest performance, track going five liter. So we know it's gonna have the Coyote engine. So that would put it above the Bullet, uh, which is 480 horsepower. So I'm thinking they're gonna tweak the power, maybe a little bit more and bring it up to, and this is of course speculation, 500? I think that's a good bet. I don't think they're gonna give it the flat plain crank that's in the, uh, 350. the, the three, GT350, yeah. And then pricing wise, the Bullet starts at about 47,000 and some change. The GT350 starts at about 60,000. So what do you think this new car is gonna come in at? I think it's gonna be in the mid 50s. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think you're right. Now, can we talk about some of the pictures? Because there is definitely some interesting styling cues here. Yeah, let's talk about those big holes in the front. What are those all about? <laughs> okay, well, the, the 69 uh, Mach 1, yeah. which was iconic, yeah. had four headlights, right? That was one of its design cues. Uh, this new one is clearly missing a couple of headlights, but I think this is a throwback uh, to that original model. 
and they've incorporated, they look like nostrils, right, in the grill. Yeah, how about on the rear? What do you think about the rear? Uh, classic fastback design. You'll notice, though, uh, these mule pictures they sent us. Yeah. It's on a track, yep. so it looks like it's going to be track focused. Yep. It's very low, yep. and it's got a set of huge Brembo brakes on what looks like a set of lightweight wheels. Yeah, and I, I, I'm looking at this picture right now. It also looks like uh, the, the, the wheels are uh, offset in terms of size, right? It looks like the front wheels are smaller than the rear that could wheels. Be. Yeah, like it's got a wider track in the back than in the front. Uh, but that's just looking at the picture. Of course, they didn't send us uh, you know, any that are not semi camouflage. Well, maybe this is production. Maybe it'll look like a zebra. You think they'll make it look like that? Yeah, with the <laughs> tape and everything? That, uh, that'd be it's cool. An would interesting you pay, approach. Would you pay extra for that? It also, I think, has a roll bar in it. Yeah, and a man in a helmet with Sparco seats. So, I don't know if it'll come with the roll bar. It certainly won't come with the man in the helmet. <laughs> Right. <laughs> but uh, unlike the bullet, I think it will come in many other colors. The bullet, as you know, comes only in black or that iconic green yeah, color. Yeah, island green, yeah. Yeah, uh, so I think it will have other colors. Uh, what other speculation can we have? They didn't talk about uh, pricing, so we don't know that. They didn't talk about horsepower. They just said it's going to be the most uh, track uh, ready, the highest performance Mustang GT variant that you can get, right? It, they didn't say it was going to be more. Um, track focused on the GT350 or the 500. Yeah, well those are the Shelby models, so I don't think it's going to be that crazy, but right. transmissions we don't know. Uh, the Mustang now I'm is available. A 10 speed. Yeah, but it'd be cool if they had a manual. Yeah. You know, uh, I think that would be a, a huge selling point. A 10 speed manual. No, not a 10 speed manual. <laughs> Probably a 6 speed manual with a fine number of gears. Maybe 4. Maybe they went with uh, an old, really old school design. We're into the speculation part of this video now. <laughs> Before we uh, wrap this up and tell you when it's available, let's roll one more of the iconic commercials. Uh, this one is especially dorky. And you, if you thought the previous music was bad, let's uh, listen to this music and hopefully it won't get taken out for copyright uh, by YouTube. What makes Mustang number one? Personality. Take the 1970 Mustang Mach 1, for instance. It's got recessed taillights. An optional 428 Cobra Jet V8 with a shaker. And a sporty new front end. But most of all, the 1970 Mustang's got... Personality! What makes Mustang number one? Personality. The 1970 Mustang hardtop, for example. It's got an economical six to move you. And that sporty look all around you. But most of all, Mustang's got personality. For 1970, number one, there's Mustang hardtop, Mach 1, and the elegant Grande. Ford gives you better ideas. It's the going thing. Personality. All right, that was even goofier music uh, and goofier acting, but you guys are probably out there wondering, when can I order one? And that's a question that we're wondering as well. We do know two things that the press release said, which are, Tommy? Well, it's, it's a limited edition, yep. and it's gonna be roaring back to life this year, so hopefully this will go on sale sometime in 2020. Yeah, as a 2021 model. Right. So, um, maybe fall, maybe winter, maybe Christmas. <sighs> maybe summer. Summer, spring, winter, fall. All, all the, yeah. uh, all, the <laughs> all you have to there. do is guess. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Sorry, we're a little slap, ha slap happy because it is, uh, you know, very late. Um, and we'll see you guys next time right here at the Fast Lane Car. Uh, and remember, check out tflcar.com for more news, views, and of course, all the Mustang Mach One news that we have. See you guys next time. Ciao.